Can the Wobblers win the World Cup? Like there's not much chance as anyone else. Uh, we've got a pretty formidable record on that, but we can't rely on that. We don't expect to. Like I said, we're trying to get uh, prominence in a very dynamic landscape, sporting landscape. And uh, I go back to the, you know, we want to stand for something. Our rugby DNA is acumen and skill, and that's what I want it to be. And uh, I think the rugby fraternity, rugby public, and sporting public will understand that. And that, and uh, you know, we're, we're pretty proud of what's on our coat of arms. We've got two animals that won't. They don't walk backwards, so I quite like that. So when it comes anything in a in a competitive thing, we might be walking backwards. What's the big area for the Wallabies to improve? If they are to win the World Cup, where's where's this team going to get better? Well, win a few more games, isn't it? You know, that's what we've got to do. We know that. Um, like I said, we're not a million miles off. We're, uh, we're pretty hard markers in the south. We play the best team in the world currently all the time. Um, or more regularly than most, we understand that. So the markers are pretty high, but we've got to set our standard. We understand that the cousins across the pond have done pretty good. Um, we're going to, you know, well, there's, that we often talk. We're going to get the guys fitter, and the acumen and the skill that we talk about. We're going to get that more consistent, um, and that's in our DNA. Don't forget that. That's what we are about as a country, and that's important to us. It's important uh, that we're renowned for it. It's important for me that we're renowned for it too. You have to start thinking beyond 2019 as well. I know a lot of you know, countries around the world have got their plans for coaches post-19. We know Michael's probably not going to be there. Does that come into your thinking now? Yeah, it'll come in all parts of the process. We'll do it right. We'll do it in the right time. But, you know, it's preparing. You know, you don't want to have these massive dips in the sport. It's, com it's a competitive landscape in the sporting market here, as I keep saying. So we can't have massive dips, and nor should we want that. We are a great rugby nation. And... Um, and we want to be seen that way. And so we're going to make sure that that is, uh, whatever happens, it's seamless and that we keep going and we keep growing.